Hey guys, it's Jessie Kate. I can hardly film right now because of all this humidity, but um, I'm in Aruba! And I am actually wearing Lolita in Aruba! Ah! This is hard work, y'all. I got... That's as good as I can get right now. Apologize. Okay, let's go try to make videos. And hopefully the humidity will calm down. Our very first full day on the island, we went on this tour of the island, which was crazy. I've never even experienced half of the things that happened on this tour. I would highly recommend it. Um, I didn't get a lot of video for fear of breaking my camera, but I did get a good bit of video considering I was out there for like 10 hours, and I will show you some of the better video I got. off-roading a lot of the time in a Land Rover and it was bumpy even when we weren't off-roading but when we were off-roading I dare not pull my camera out. Um, we were on two wheels a lot of the time and I feel like we definitely like completely left the ground several times. One of the first stops we made was we went to the most colorful cemetery I've ever seen and our wonderful tour guide showed us his own family's tomb which was really neat. Um, in Aruba, they bury people above ground traditionally because it's a volcanic island and it's hard to dig through the rock. Next, we went to the cliff where we saw some hidden cave pool type things and also we went to this old gold mine which was kind of like a giant stone fort that we were allowed to climb all over which I really liked. Then we went to a church, and churches weren't really my thing, but what is my thing is I got to feed this dog a piece of coconut. This dog's name is Coco because it eats coconut. We were supposed to go snorkeling in the natural pool at the national park, but as you can see, the wind was insane, the waves were insane, and it was not safe, so we did not get to go. But because we didn't get to go, we got to make a few extra stops, which were really cool. One of the extra stops was we went to this cute little stream where some invasive tilapia nibbled our toes, which was amazing. If you ever get a chance to do this, do it. It was great. Then we went to a cave where there were actually ancient Native American paintings and like millions of bats and we got to go deep in the cave through this little tiny door that I had to squeeze through and it was very 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 hot and very very dark deep in the cave and then we just got to listen to the bats and actually find those ancient Native American paintings deep in the cave and it was really cool. One of our extra stops, which might have been my favorite extra stop, was chasing a trio of wild donkeys around with a loaf of bread.
joins us the next day trying to find the grocery store. What an adventure. Most of the signs in the grocery store were in Dutch because Aruba is a Dutch colony. And also look at this huge cheese. The beach was beautiful. The beaches definitely don't look like this where I live. The resort had a really, really amazing pool, but my favorite thing about the pool was there were animals all around it. There was like a bazillion different kinds of lizards and birds all around it, and I was just going nuts. I wanted to chase them all everywhere, animals, animals. Next day we went shopping and found this restaurant with butts on the ceiling. The food was really, really amazing. Here's me being a typical tourist. Hello. I'm not sure if I can 
make a video with all this humidity. It's like my lens is fogged up. Yeah.